Song of Myself from Walt Whitman, number 49. And as to you, death, and you, big, and you bitter hug of mortality, it is idle to try to alarm me. To his work without flinching, the Akashore comes. I see the elder hand pressing, receiving, supporting. I recline by the sills of the exquisite flexible doors and mark the outlet and mark the relief and escape. And as to you, corpse, I think you are good manure, but that does not offend me. I smell the white roses, sweet scented and growing. I reach to the leafy lips, I reach to the polished breasts of melons. And as to you, life, I reckon you are the leavings of many deaths. No doubt I have died 10,000 times before. I hear you whispering there, O stars of heaven, O suns, O grass of graves, O perpetual transfers and promotions. If you do not say anything, how can I say anything? Of the turbid pool that lies in the autumn forest, of the moon that descends the steps of the sowing twilight, toss sparkles of day and dusk, toss on the black stems that decay in the muck, toss to the moaning gibberish of the dry limbs, I ascend from the moon, I ascend from the night, I perceive that the, gla the ghastly glimmer is noonday sunbeams reflected and debouched to the steady and central from the offspring, great or small. 50. There is that in me, I do not know what it is, but I know it is, it, 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 I know it is in me. Wrenched and sweaty, calm and cool, then my body becomes, I sleep, I sleep long, I do not know it, it is without name. It is word unsaid. It is not in any dictionary utterance symbol. Something it swings on more than the earth I swing on. To it the creation is the friend whose embracing awakes me. Perhaps I might tell more. Outlines. I plead for my brothers and sisters. Do you see, oh, my brothers and sisters? It is not chaos or death. It is form, union, plan. It is eternal life. It is happiness. 51. The past and present wilt, I have filled them, emptied them, and proceed to fill my next fold of the future. Listener up there, what have you to confide in me? Look in my face while I snuff the sidle of everything. Talk honestly. No one else hears you and I stay only a minute longer. Do I contradict myself? Very well then, I contradict myself. I am large, I contain multitudes. I concentrate toward them that are nigh, I wait on the door slab. Who has done his day's work? Who will soonest be through with his supper? Who wishes to walk with me? Will you speak before I am gone? Will you prove already too late? 52. The spotted hawk swoops by and accuses me. He complains of my gab and my loitering. I too am not to be, I, am, I too am not a bit tamed. I too am untranslatable. I sound my barbaric yawp over the roofs of the world. The last scud of the day holds back for me. It flings my likeness after the rest and true as any on the shadowed wilds. It coaxes me to the vapor and the dusk. I depart as air. I shake my white locks at the runaway sun. I effuse my flesh in eddies and drift in it lacy jags. I bequeath myself to the dirt to grow from the grass I love. If you want me again, look for me under your boot soles. You will hardly know who I am or what I mean, but I shall be good health to you nevertheless. And filter and fiber your blood. Failing to fetch me at first, keep encouraged. Missing me, one place, search another. I stop somewhere waiting for you.